वेलकम टू विनोद सुमन अकेडमी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज द डिकोडिंग भिटबी आयोगविदम सो भिटबी आयोगविदम इज वेरी नाइस सॉल्यूशन फॉर वन ऑफ द हिडन मार्कअप मॉडल प्रॉब्लम सो यू हैव बीन गिवन द ऑब्जर्वेबल स्टेट एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द हिडन स्टेट so before going for the vitabi algorithm you should have very good knowledge of all those things markov process markov property markov chain hidden markov model and what are the those things i have already made the video in detail with all the concepts some numerical problems so i would recommend please visit those video to get the better understanding what is the uh, vitabi algorithms so in short today we are going to talk solve this problem using the vitabi algorithm the problem is that these are the hidden state and these are the observable state so person uh, one person sitting inside the room or the in basement they uh, can't say how is the weather outside but depend upon the observable state some person having the uh, ice cream some day he having the two ice cream one ice cream and three ice cream depend upon that they are trying to find out which kind of weather is outside so as we know in a um, hidden markov model what is happening actually this is the hidden markov model uh, and we create the model so we create the machine learning model right we used to give the training set testing set data and then create the model and then we give the data and we get the predict value the same as in hidden markov model used to give the initial probability a a means transition matrix b means emission matrix once you create the model then you give the observable state in this case the person eating ice cream one day ice three ice cream second day one ice cream and third day three ice cream and we have to find out what hidden state would be there so in case we have the two hidden state so it could be anything if you see it could be the h c h or the h h h or the c h h so many combination possible right so how many combination would be possible n is equal to 2 means number of hidden state hot and cold t is equal to 3 number of observation so we have been given the three observation so 3 so total combination would be the 2 to the power 3 8 and according to h t um, hidden markov model we have to solve all the eight uh, set then which is the best one we have to find out and we used to use this formula in the hidden markov model to find out the most likely hidden state sequence for the given observable state but think if this much time taking suppose if you have the total number of n hidden state and observable state suppose you have the 50 then think about 10 into the power 15 it is huge it will take the huge computation uh, power and take the huge time to uh, give the answer so that's why this is not going to work out so for uh, to easy process or for the solution we use the dynamic problem and that dynamic problem we are going to use here that solution is called the vitelli algorithm so this is the kind of dynamic problem what is a dynamic programming so you have to divide the work into a small small chunk and we have to keep the intermediate result so it will be used in the uh, next step to save our computation okay so if you have already understand this problem or if you have not understand this problem i would recommend please visit my video on hidden markov model ice cream problem i have explained everything so how to take the first step to solve the problem using the uh, vita b algorithm what you have to do it's very easy uh, just uh, you follow my step within 5 10 minutes you become the master for the vita b algorithm so what you have to do actually what is the sequence what is the question 3 1 3 right so make the uh, here Three, one. Or put some space over there. And three, right? This is our 
observable sequence. For that, you take the how many type of hidden state? Hot and cold, right? So, take the hot or the three hot, right? And this is the cold, take the cold. Understand? So, take your questions here 313 and use all the hidden state. Suppose if I would have the three hidden state. So, 1, 2, 3, one more would be there. But we have just two hot and cold. So, you are making just hot and cold, right? And this row is called the V1. I will explain why it is called. This is the V2 and this is called the V3, right? So, uh, don't put it here. I need some other space. So, put it here. Uh, this is the V1, V2, V3. V for the uh, beta V, okay? How to do that? First, we have to find out the, uh, the probability if the first day, if that guy is at 3 ice cream, what is the probability it was the hot. So, we have to use that formula. So, what formula is that? For this sequence means uh, for the initial state, right? So, what would be there? So, question is that 3 joint probability 3 and H, right? So, what is the formula here? 3 ice cream given that weather is hot and starting weather was the hot because this is starting and you can get this value from where? This value we get from emission table and this value from the initial probability. So, 3 hatch for the hot 3 ice cream. So, for the hot for the hot 3 ice cream. So, 0.4 right. Use that 0.4 and P hatch hot initial probability of hot is 0.8. So, 0.8. So, it become the 0.8. 3, 2. So, the probability of this is the point 3, 2 and this is the first and second. So, we put V 1, 1. This we call the V 1, 2. Okay. Same way, we have to find out the probability for this. What is the probability? Joint probability. Good. So, put the formula. Okay, take the value here. So it will come from the emission emission matrix C and three, C and three. So point one right, and from the initial probability of the cold is point two. So take the point two. It become the zero point zero two. So this value is point zero two. Any confusion? If you have confusion, just go backward and see how I have calculated, right? The same way we have to calculate for this. Okay. So let me use the these things. So now the for this what would be the probability? Now the number of ice cream is one. So one and the weather is hot. So how to write? Please visit my previous video. I have explained each and everything there. This time be careful. So hot and previous day was hot, right? So hot and given the previous day was hot, right? So, hot and one ice cream, hot and one ice cream, two. So, point two. And hot and hot, this come from emission matrix, this come from transition matrix. Hot and hot, point seven, right? So, point seven. It become the 14, right? So, don't write, just hold on, 14. This is the 40, I can say. Just hold on. And the make this also for this one. 
same but this one one ice cream and the weather is cold so one ice cream weather is cold and this weather is cold given that previous day was current day is hot right and this is the future date so c one c so cold and one ice cream 0.5 and c h previous day h then c 0.3 right so this is called the 0.5 okay so now what you have to do okay this one calculate now what you have to calculate this part you have to calculate this one and this one four you have to calculate so this one one or h this one so it become the one h and this h before the c right so one h already we have no 0.2 and before c and h c and h 0.4 right and so this probability right this become the 0.08 this line now find out this one so it is the 1c this c before that the c was there right code was there 1c 0.5 into c and c 0.6 right so now this is the point three. Now the important part come here. What you have to do? You take this. This is the current probability, right? Point fourteen, right? Point four into multiply the previous one, right? This is for this arrow. This is for this arrow. So this arrow was point. 08 into 0.2 already calculated so if you take 14 and 32 it become the 0448 and this one 08.2 to 0 so right understand how i calculate let me again this into this this one This into this, this one, which is the max. Choose the max out of both. So this is the max, right? So this would be the value for this one. V two one is the point four four eight. Now we have to calculate for this one. How to calculate? So now. Point one five. If you want to calculate here, so what would we calculate? Point one five into this one. So let me put it here. Point one five into point three two. Point one five into three two. Point zero four eight. And then this is for one. This is for this one. Point three into point zero two. so it become the 06 right so this is the okay and take the max out of this what is the max this is the max right so b to 1 value would be 0.048 any confusion so max out of this max out of this so we got it right the same way now what you have to do you have to find out this one and this one so how you will do this let me do it first so
so for this not the 3 ice cream right so p 3 into h 3 h and this h before was the h right so h given h hot 3 ice cream hot 3 ice cream 0.4 and hot and hot was the 0 0.7 right so 0.28 so this is the 0 0.28 right the same way for this one this time it is cold i am taking the cold so p 3 c p c h current is this uh, future is this current is this right so 3 c 3C is the point 0.1 and the H and C, H and C point 0.3. So, this is the point 0.3. Okay. So, let me make it fast. So, you will uh, just let me save some time. So, what you have to do then, then if you take this value this one calculated now take this value right so when you will take this value uh, for this 3 ice cream h okay for 3 ice cream h c this is called the c h this is the 0.3 and for this 0 0.06 okay now what you have to do you have to multiply this one this part this one 0.28 into previous one right so this will become one two five double four this part I did right now this part you do what you have to do point zero three into what was the previous value point zero four eight right so if you do that it become the so you have to take the max out of max is the this one the max right so this value three one is equal to 0 0.01254 this is the max for the same this one what you have to do 0 0.03 this multiply this so it become the point 4 and for this 0 0.06 into this into 4048 it become the and which is the max this time this is the max right so this is the value of okay so now let you first again explain you take this uh, probability of both then take the probability of this one and this one this multiply this this one this multiply this this one out of the max take this value so now if you see in this both 0 0.0 to 0 0.3 this is important one which probability is high this probability is high okay in this 0 0.008 0 0.048 so this is the highest probability in this case 0 0.012 0 0.022 so this is the highest probability okay so the answer is h c and h so this is the answer and the complexity is very minimum it was complexity of the n square t but when you talk the beta v Vita V, it was the n square t. So, this is the various computation and you can get the 
answer so actual answer is that h c h so h c h it was all about the vitae algorithm if you have any questions please use the comment box and uh, i try to make very simple and uh, again i would recommend please visit all my video on the uh, hidden markov uh, hidden markov model and the markov model and the vitae algorithm some questions and answers thank you very much